everybody. This video is about SOVTs. I'm going to talk about the what, why, when, and how of SOVTs in the first part of the video. And then in the second part of the video, I'm going to do an exercise that you can do with me. So if you're just here for the exercise portion, you can click the timestamp in the description below. So let's talk about SOVTs and what they are. So SOVT actually stands for something. It stands for semi-occluded vocal tract exercise. Semi-occluded means partially closed. Your vocal tract is the whole area that air travels from your larynx out through your mouth. So that's starting in your larynx, up through your throat, into your mouth, sometimes into your nose instead, and then out into the world. That whole length is your vocal tract. So if we put this together, a semi-occluded vocal tract exercise means that you are closing off the exit of the air. So that can be anything from things like bees. <sighs> to things like lip trills. To things like NG exercises. And my personal favorite, straws. So let's talk about why SOVTs work. So the way that your voice creates pitch is that air comes up from your lungs through your trachea and it blows your vocal folds apart and then they get sucked back together. I made a different video about how you can simulate this using Jello. You can check that out in the description. But the whole reason that this works is because your vocal folds are sitting over your trachea and the air that is underneath them has more pressure than the air that is above them. However, when we close off the vocal tract, then all of a sudden that pressure disparity changes. So the air below the vocal folds will still have more pressure unless you close off the vocal tract entirely, but there's a lot closer of an amount between the two sides. This difference in pressure change means that doing SOVTs kind of feels like giving your voice a bath. It's a really nice sensation. You can think of it as the difference between walking and swimming. So when you're walking, AKA just speaking or singing normally, it's pretty intuitive, right? We have done it for a really long time. However, it is a lot more grating on our body. With an SOVT or swimming, if we're taking this analogy, it's a lot trickier to coordinate. Like we're not used to kind of moving through water and it feels kind of weird and strange, but it's a lot gentler on your joints and your body. SOVTs work the same way. Number three, when do you use SOVTs? All the time, please use them all the time. The one exception to this is if you have like a vocal injury, in that case, please do whatever your doctor tells you to do. But for all of my students, I start with SOVTs and I usually do at least five minutes of them. If your voice is really tired, say maybe you had a work conference and have been talking for days on end, or maybe you are a little older and your voice doesn't warm up as quickly as it used to, then I recommend doing SOVTs for more time. Sometimes when I'm warming up for a gig, I will only do SOVTs because it's a really good way to get your voice nice and warm. Lastly, how? How do we do SOVTs? And this is the fun part. There are so many ways to do SOVTs, which is great because you can constantly mix it up and keep it fresh. You can do things like specific scale exercises, stuff like, or you could do glides, or you can sing a song that you like through the straw. It really honestly doesn't matter. It more matters the amount of time that you are doing the SOVT for and also how closed off whatever you're using is. So for example, if you're using the NG exercise, that's great. And you'll get an even better stretch by closing off one of your nostrils. I 
I learned that trick from Electra, who works at the Voice Lab. Like I said, it really doesn't matter what you're doing. It's more about the time that you're doing it. And I would say if you are singing along to a song and you're finding that it's like not really working for you, like you're having trouble sort of making sound happen with a straw or an SOBT, go ahead and switch to a different song or a different exercise. Listen to your body, see what your body's telling you. Let's go ahead and get to the guided exercise. A couple things to keep in mind for this exercise. So we're gonna be going to different parts of your range. I'm gonna say things like low and high, stuff like that. I'm talking about your range, not the range that you are gonna hear from me. So you don't have to match my notes exactly. We're just kind of like going through your voice. Another thing that I would say for my trans clients especially, is if there is a part of your voice that you feel icky about, feel free to skip that part of your voice. So let's say the low part of your range you're not feeling good about right now, instead of going as low as you can, go like medium low instead. One other thing to keep in mind is that if you're hearing a lot of hissing coming from your straw, probably that means you're pushing too much air out of the straw. This doesn't have to be loud or powerful or sound like any kind of singing anything at all. Really, the goal is to stretch your voice out in a really nice way. Lastly, if you want a deeper stretch, then feel free to close off parts of the exit of the air. So instead of just using the straw normally, you can take your finger and you can put it right over here for different levels of closure. So you can do just a little bit of closed, you could do really closed, whatever you like. We're going to start by going from the low end of your range to the high end of your range. We're going to do that a couple more times. Two more. One more. We're going to go the other way now. Really nice. We're going to go low, high, and then low again in a circle. and tickled a little bit. All right, we're going to go the other way.
we are going to do some motorcycle revs in the low part of your range. And now some sirens in the high part of your range. And now we're going to do some video game jumps. And some sad puppy noises. Now we're going to mix them up randomly. And that's five minutes. Okay, thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.